But if pole arms are so dominant on the battlefield, why does, for instance, HEMA focus so much on swords? Well, this can be partially explained by the availability of sources, although I would argue that there's plenty of sources for pole arm fighting as well. HEMA, however, tends to focus more on the civil than on the military context, and there's many reasons for that, among others, for instance, the cost of having to buy armor and other things you need to properly go into military fighting of the day. But safety is, of course, another reason, because playing with swords is safer than playing with pole arms. For instance, with Longsword of Messer, I feel pretty secure fencing with pretty much anyone from any background. However, with pole arms, I tend to just play with people that I know and can trust. So, there you have it. Spear or sword, it's very dependent on context, both historically and in modern martial arts. 